the specifics and you know the really, really real value comes in is, is really how to do it how you know obviously it takes a long time to build your followers you know we, that's a whole another topic of discussion we're gonna you know leave that to the other guys how to build a following you know once you get there how do you monetize that following and um, so they, I mean there's software programs out there that have they're called landing pages or you know you put people to a funnel you know you have your websites you know, your main website but you also need to have a sales page which collects a lead and what's called a funnel you funnel them down a sales page you have writing you have a video you funnel them down enter your email go so once people enter that email in you know they're, they're the customer they believe they're warm traffic now they believe what you possibly are going to tell them is true and they want to follow you so um the process of getting that email, that's, that's the tricky part. You want to convince people to give you your email. Um, so, you know, designing, there, there's three parts to what I call a, a post, that, that's a lead generation post. And, you know, you have your creative, that's the picture that you're looking at. And obviously, you want to have a call to action, a, a really good call to action of, that sparks interest. And one of the ones that I've been using lately, uh, of a, lately of affiliate marketing campaign that I've been doing that has has paid off very well in the last three weeks. Um, it's you know how my side business generates ten thousand dollars per month on autopilot. That sparks your curiosity. Right below that is called click the link in my bio. That's your call to action. So that's the call to action number one. Then in your caption you have the call to action number two, which is um, you know the cap. You have to write a good caption, and I like to put right when they start reading my caption click the link in my bio again and then put my instagram name with a little pointy arrow pointing at it so you have to make this visible you have to make this stand out i put a little fire symbol i put a little emoji with a pointy arrow pointing at my name so people click on my name they go back to my instagram bio and then they see the call to action there that's the third call to action you know before you know you write a caption call to action then you have your body of why they should click it then you put another call to action in the bottom of your caption. So that's, that's like three call to action so far. So once people are convinced to click on that, it takes them back to your name, your Instagram bio, where they can see you know, your bio, what you're about, your name, your picture, your logo. And then there's another, there's a fourth call to action, which is, um, you know, I put a little pointy arrow down, pointing at the link. And you know, the call to action is why you should click this link. Another reason I start your passive income, you know, live live the panda life, as I would say. That I've been, uh, you know, it's a funny thing that I've been doing lately is the panda lifestyle, which not many people get. It's just a funny thing that I've been advertising with pandas. Anyways, that's another one. Um, so why to click on this link? Uh, you know how you know start your lifestyle business, live the laptop let laptops lifestyle, and so that's the fourth call to action, and you know that's what drives a ton of traffic. 